بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to another video of the Makharj and Sufat um, Articulation Points and Characteristics of the Letters So we have five general areas of articulation point Five general areas Okay. Number one we have the empty space in the mouth and the throat it's called al jawf the empty space in the mouth and the throat i'll show you in pictures inshallah that's number one number two we have al halq halq means the throat okay so the difference here is halq means the throat only the throat this means uh, that the jawf means the empty space the empty space inside of the mouth and inside of the throat all right and then number three we have Alisan Alisan the tongue okay and then number four we have al shafatan and five we have al khayshu so from these areas the um, the letters come out we're going to talk about a little bit more here information the jawf Okay, inside the jawf we have one articulation point to three letters. So from the jawf we have only one articulation point, but we have three letters from there. And number two, makhraj number two, al-halq. Al-halq, the throat, we have three articulation points, and we have six letters. Number four, we have al-lisan. Al-lisan, we have... 10 articulation point to 18 letters so this is 1 2 uh, sorry this is lisan is 3 and we have shafatan is 4 2 articulation point to 4 letters and 5 we have al khayshum 1 articulation point and it is for the ghunna and ghunna sound and it's for part of the meme and part of the menu okay um, again I know this is a little bit confusing right now but later when I explain it one at a time inshallah you're gonna find it very simple actually okay so in the jawf we have one articulation point to three letters so so far we have three letters here we have three articulation point to six letters ten articulation point <coughs> 18 letters two articulation points four letters then we have the khashum one articulation point it is used for the gunna and part of the meme and part of the no in this slide we're going to talk about al jawf al jawf we said is the throat and the oral cavity throat and the oral cavities so the jawf is the empty space inside of the throat and the mouth okay so we have three mad letters come out from the jaw. Number one, we have alif maddiya. Alif maddiya is the alif that has sukun that is preceded by fatha. It could be the small alif as well that has sukun preceded by fatha. This alif come out from the jaw. Okay? So you say it like this. Uh, so you cannot say the alif by itself. The alif should have a letter before it. A, S, Sh. So this here, Alif, it's it's from the oral cavity, but do not go into your nose. Okay, don't say Na, Sa, Sa. Later, I'm gonna talk about uh, common mistakes. But for now, uh, just open up your mouth, uh, and later I'll show you how the tongue should be. Number two, we have Wow Madia. Also comes out from the jaw which is the wow that is sukun preceded by a dhamma. Kanu, nu, nu, su, shu, fu, like that. Okay, this also, there's also common mistakes um, in the um, wow that we can avoid, inshallah, I'll talk about it. So again, there's another example, wow. Sukun preceded by Dhamma, wow, Sukun preceded by Dhamma, this wow comes out from the um, Jawf. Okay, 
يقولون أو لو سو فو مو We don't say mo, no, lo. You don't go on your nose. Okay, those are common mistakes that a lot of people do, especially kids when they want to make their voice nice. They go into the nose. All right. So this is here. Ah, uh, and we still have the ya, ya So the ya madia comes out from the jawf as well. Which is the ya? When I say madia, it means the ya that has sukun preceded by kasra. Okay, that ya comes out from the jaw. Ya sukun preceded by kasra. E. So it's a long vowel to the previous letter. E. Nastain al mustaqim. We don't say nastain al mustaqim. You don't go in your nose. This is the number common mistake number one. People go in their nose. So we say nastain like that. Al mustaqim. So again, alif madia is the alif that has fatha. Is the alif that has fatha preceded? I mean, sorry, take that back. Is the alif that has sukun preceded by fatha? Number two, the wow that has sukun preceded by dhamma. And the the ya madia is the ya that has sukun preceded by kasra. Those are the three conditions that they come in. Other than that, the the wow the alif always comes out from the jaw. The wow could come from the lips. The ya could come from middle of the tongue. So we don't want to mix um, the two articulation points together. So this is the wow comes out from the jaw. This ya comes out from the jaw. Alif always comes out from the jaw. All right, fine. Moving on to another slide, and I'll show you a little bit more in pictures. It would be easier for you to understand. So here's the alif. So I call this a daughter, a mother, and a daughter. Mother is the big one, and the daughter is the little one. Mother is the big one. The the, the smaller one is the daughter. Mother, so yeah, and the smaller one is the kasra. It's like mother and daughter. So a a u u e e. Okay, the shape inside the tongue. How is the tongue inside of the mouth? So with the alif, the alif comes out from here. Let's see. This is the jaw. When I was saying jaw, when I say the empty uh, the empty space inside of your throat and your mouth is this. But this is just the empty, right? So you cannot pinpoint to it. You cannot point your finger and say the alif is from here or the alif is from here. You can't point to it. It's the whole thing. Okay. So the shape when you're saying uh, the alif, the shape of your tongue should be completely flat. There's no work in the tongue. Uh, uh, later on, I'm going to talk about some of the mistakes that if you lift up a little bit the back, the voice is going to go down. And it's gonna bring you a uh, something like that. So make sure the tongue is completely flat. Uh, all right. Or if it's a heavy letter, oh, before it, oh, the tongue would go up here, and only the back would lift up. Okay. So the shape of the tongue is flat with the alif that is preceded by a light letter. Uh, don't take the sound to your nose. That's a big mistake. Another one for the wow, the shape uh, of your tongue, it lifts up a little bit automatically by itself. Ooh, ooh, like that. Do not take it to the nose. Mm -hmm. So, ah, uh, ooh, and with the, with the wow, there is work in the lips. You gotta point your lips. So, if we see here the difference between the alif and the well, flat lips, pointy lips, all right? So you point your lips and bring your voice, ooh, stop speaking from the voice box, ooh, like that. Then you point your lips and there's some work in here, a tiny sound in here. But mostly the focus is on your jaw. And don't think about lifting up the back of your tongue. You don't need to do it. It, it goes up automatically. So some people, they over-exaggerate with the lifting of the tongue uh, or like they try to lift it up. 
so then it blocks the sound, then it goes into the nose. Okay? Ooh, keep it separated. Keep it far from the top. Number three is the ya. The ya, the regular ya comes out the ya, u, yi, which has the vowels or sukun, ai. It comes out from the middle of the tongue here, ai. So we say ai, you will feel this is lifting up. And when you say ya, when you say ya, u, yi, you will feel this area. Okay? So this is different ya than this one. This one is the ya that has sukun preceded by kasra. That comes from the, we said, where? From the jaw. E. And when it gets here, as it's going out, there's work in the middle of the tongue as well with the regular ya. So there's two working here, just like the well. There's work in the jaw plus a little bit of the list. There's work in the jaw plus a little bit of makhraj al ya. Okay? Because if you don't move the tongue, it would sound like this. Eh, eh, something like that. So you need the middle of the tongue to lift up, with, which is the vowel ya, which is the fatha dhamma kasra. But mainly you focus on here. For example, alladhi nasta'een, like that. Alright? I hope this helped a little bit, inshallah ta'ala. Um, and always I say, if there's any question or anything that you don't understand, uh, please leave it in the comment box. And I will try my best to reply to you, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, so again, we want... Uh, Practice like that. Ba every day. A, ba, ta, fa, like that. Ja, ha. We're practicing the alif here. Okay, we're practicing only the alif. Whatever letters it is before it, it's, it should sound the same. So don't say a, ba, ta. Don't do that. You, you lift, you're lifting your back of your tongue and you're taking the sound to the top. Bring the sound up. If it has a, uh, a letter, istifal letter before it. If it has isti'la letter, which is the ha, sa, la, la, yes, you bring this up and you take the sound to the top. So what after, right, right now, just a, sa, sha, every day practice like that. Maybe like 10 times a day. Huh? And then you can practice also, u, practice all the letter. Bu, su, shu, fu, lu, hu. Don't trap the sound here. Ooh, don't say ooh, ooh, relax, out. And this one? E, C, she, like that. Do not take the sound to the nose. This is wrong. Don't take it out, up to the nose. It's wrong. Okay, so inshallah, um, again, I hope this helped you a little bit. And inshallah, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the common mistakes, I'm trying to make the, again, the video short. So I'll talk a little bit more next time in my next video about the common mistakes for each one of these letters. Hopefully this will help you, inshallah, correct your own as much as you can. But it's always, always good to read to a teacher, to have a sheikh, ustav, ustava, sheikha, you know, have someone, a friend that is, you know, familiar with tajweed and they can catch mistakes and not only catch mistakes, they are able to fix it. Okay, so but for now, practice as much as you can every day. This is how you practice. I also recorded, I have a recording of the Qaida Nuraniya. If you can search for that, um, Qaida Nuraniya, I, one of the lessons, I'm not sure if it's fourth or the eighth lesson, I'm not sure. Uh, I have I have like uh, all the mad letters, the alif waw ya, and you can practice those. Um, and I spell them, for example, like ba fatha ba ba fatha alif sukun ba ba dhamma waw sukun bu ba bu ba kasra ya sukun bi ba bu bi like that. Sa su si sha shu shi. Record yourself. And listen to yourself. And you can hear like nasally, non-nasally. It sounds off. It sounds good. Barakallah feekum. Jazakum la khair for watching. And wait for the next video that has common mistakes so you don't do these mistakes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.